Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Wanda Lipscomb, and I would like to welcome you to the 2020 virtual graduation for the College of Human Medicine class of 2020. We are delighted this afternoon to celebrate with over 199 members of the class of 2020 who have successfully completed their medical education here at the Michigan State University College of Human Medicine. This indeed marks an extraordinary journey for these graduates. Joining us today are various administrators and faculty members who have been a part of this journey with our graduates. We would like to begin today with a musical selection of the national anthem by Enrique Rodriguez Fon. This will be followed by opening remarks from our Dean, Dr. Aaron Sousa. Dr. Sousa is a graduate of the University of Indiana School of Medicine. He has been a faculty member here in the College of Human Medicine for well over 20 years. Prior to serving as interim dean of the college, Dr. Sousa has served as the senior associate dean for academic affairs. He is a committed clinician who is still happiest when he's rounding with patients, residents, and students in the hospital. Welcome to our celebration. I will now move to Enrique for the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Good afternoon and welcome to the 2020 College of Human Medicine virtual graduation. It is my pleasure and honor to represent faculty in congratulating all of the graduates and welcome their family and friends who are here with us today. There is no happier occasion at a university than a graduation. And it is important that we share that joy and accomplishment with your entire family and friends. Usually at this point, I would encourage people to get up and move around if their young people get antsy, but now everyone has that option, option. So grab some snacks, get comfy, and forgive us our technical glitches as they happen. As everybody with us today knows, medical school and becoming a physician is a huge amount of work, including studying 60 to 80 hours a week, or rounding and clinical duties of 60 to 80 hours a week, 
for months on end. This can be draining, tiring, exhilarating, occasionally terrifying, and hopefully at least as often joyous. The graduates here in front of me, virtually, have faced those terrors and hopefully they have seen some of the joy that comes from being someone's doctor. It is a great honor to be somebody's physician. It is my great joy to introduce to you Norm Beauchamp, Executive Vice President for Health Sciences at Michigan State University. He is the recent Dean of the college and a proud alumnus of CHM. He will provide his congratulatory remarks. Dr. Beauchamp. Today represents a truly special day. It is such a privilege to participate in recognizing an entire class of inspiring individuals, all of you. As Dr. Sousa touched on, you dug deep when you felt you had nothing left to give. You kept the faith in the presence of enormous obstacles. You invariably got back up after being knocked down. Today we celebrate with you and for you. In thinking about your path forward, I am reminded of a quote by Richard Armstrong. I always wondered why somebody didn't do something about that. And then I realized that I am somebody, that I am somebody. As physicians, you were poised to be that somebody, bringing health, hope, and healing every single day. The need is great, the opportunities small and large, but few are insurmountable. Be that somebody in all the ways you now know how. It is your calling. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Beauchamp. It is my great joy to introduce to you the Honorable Gretchen Whitmer, MSU alumnus and 49th governor of the state of Michigan. The governor has recorded a message to the graduates of the MSU Health Colleges. To the class of 2020 in the College of Nursing, Osteopathic Medicine, and Human Medicine, congratulations on your graduation. You did it. These are truly extraordinary and unprecedented times. Typically, you'd be getting ready to walk across the stage, take pictures with your cap and gown at the Sparty statue, and celebrate afterwards at Crunchies with family and friends. Instead, we're navigating a new landscape as we fight against COVID-19 here in Michigan and around the world. My number one priority as your governor is to protect the public health and safety of all Michiganders. And today, you became a critical part of that goal. These past few months, we have seen just how essential the healthcare field is, and I'm doing everything in my power to support it during this time. Doctors and nurses are on the front lines of this crisis and deserve the very best of our support. It was important to me to increase the speed at which healthcare professionals could get into the workplace to assist with COVID-19. As a result, my administration's partnership with MSU in expediting licensure of healthcare professionals entering the workforce, Michigan's healthcare systems now have access to 87 baccalaureate prepared nurses, 61 medical doctors, and 213 osteopathic physicians from Michigan State alone. There might have been many reasons that you were drawn to this profession, but now more than ever, I want to say how grateful I am for your commitment and passion toward serving the public. Your training at MSC has prepared you for the future in public health, but it's your passion and selflessness that will truly define your career. When the history books look back on COVID-19, stories of frontline superheroes will be told. You will have made the difference. Congratulations and go green. Thank you, Governor Whitmer. I am delighted to introduce to you now Dr. Marsha Rapley as our featured speaker. Dr. Rapley came to CHM as a young woman with a successful career in nursing, who was raised in Flint and in possession of a great desire to make the world a better place. After graduating from CHM and training as a pediatrician with expertise in behavioral medicine, 
She became nationally known in the care of children with mental and behavioral challenges. She became our dean and led the college through a transformational decade during which the college doubled its class size, created the founding agreements for the Flint expansion and the public health program, expanded its Grand Rapids campus, built and filled the Secchia Center and the Grand, Rap Grand Rapids Research Center. She chaired the, uh, chaired the American Association for Medical Colleges Board of Directors and recently retired as the Vice President for Health Sciences and CEO of Virginia Commonwealth University Health System. For all of that, I think Dr. Rapley is most at home with patients, families, and students. She has been a great mentor and friend to so many of us, and I am delighted to have her speak to you today. Dr. Rapley, the screen is yours. Congratulations to all of you again, and thank you. Thank you for joining the profession of medicine and joining us as your colleagues. You are ready for what you are about to step into. All those times you were exasperated by another exam. That was laying down the layers, preparing you for when you read, you see, you hear something and you think, what is that? Or you think, I know that, but then it comes again. It comes another time in a different context, a new layer, a connection for you to better understand what is happening with your patient, the world in which they live, and the world in which you live. At some point in time, you will be the person who has to make a decision on behalf of someone who has completely entrusted themselves to you. And you will pull deep on all of these layers. That's why we made you repeat things so many times in so many different ways. That's why we made you strive yet again to be better and to be better. Take strength from knowing that we have set the bar very high in your education and you sailed over it. Your education was not designed to just pass you along to residency. It was built to allow you to catapult in and hit the ground running. And this is exactly what I hear from health systems all around the country, the IVs, the safety nets, the front lines. CHM grads are so well prepared. Many of you are already there working on the front line. And some of you will go now and immerse yourself in the care of desperate people, whether it be COVID-19 or some iteration of that. Some of you will be a little bit farther back from that front line, but all of you will be surrounded by it, affected by it, disturbed by it. And I ask you to just take a brief moment between now and when you step fully into residency to think about who will you turn to when you need to talk to someone? when you need support. Think about who those people are and strengthen and nurture those relationships because we all need them. You will also be troubled by the deepening suffering that you see due to inequities and disparities in our health system, due to failure of our systems to protect those in need and to protect those who serve. Use that tension, that doubt, to not only make yourself better, but to make your system better, to make our profession better. We need your direction, your talent, your creativity, your drive, and your heart to solve these problems that have plagued us for so long. And now, these things prevent us from delivering the very care that our science has crafted that we know to be effective. Over the next few months, you will do immediately what is needed by your communities of patients and by your systems. But a recalibration is already underway and long held assumptions about how we practice medicine are being set aside. This is our opportunity to restructure how we work, to work with a new set of principles 
that value people and that place productivity in the context of impact. And by impact, I mean truly improving the lives of people as they live them, all people. You are a critically important part of the future of the healthcare of our nation. And I'm very excited to see what you will do. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rep. Thank you, Dr. Rapley. I want to offer a special introduction for interim senior associate dean for academic affairs and associate dean for undergraduate medical education, Dr. Diane Wagner. Everybody needs a clinic buddy. And for more than 15 years, Diane has been my clinic buddy. And for more than 15 years, also my curriculum buddy. She has done every job in medical education and she has led the college's effort to create the shared discovery curriculum. Thanks to you students, the faculty, and Dr. Wagner, the people of the college have become educational leaders in the country and have had the very best student outcomes during the implementation of the SDC. That is an astonishing achievement unrivaled in the country. It is my great honor to introduce Dr. Diane Wagner. Thank you very much, Dr. Sousa. To my wonderful graduating class of 2020, you come to medical school knowing that you will be changing your mind. You may not know that you will literally be changing your brain, building microtubules and altering the structure forever. You expect that you will be learning about health and disease, about how both happen and what makes each better or worse. You know that you will be tested over and over about how your mind has changed. You might imagine that you will be changing your mind in other ways, how you think about things, how you confront data about your patients, about their treatments, and about yourself. We have asked you to confront data over and over and over in the past four years. Critically thinking about the information in front of you has never been more important than right now for a multitude of reasons. Never forget how important it is to think about what you're doing, why you are doing it, and whether you might be able to do it better. That is the essence of excellent patient care and one part of a fulfilling professional life. Perhaps you have thought about the changes your heart might undergo, but you might not have realized that what happens to your heart, the heart of you, will be more transformative, more fundamental than anything else. That you will be a part of changing your colleagues, your team members, and your patients' hearts by putting your heart and soul into your life. I said into your life very intentionally. It can sometimes feel that what you need to put into your profession limits the time and energy you can put into the rest of your life. That is truly a fallacy a fundamental error in thinking. The more time and energy you put into your family and friends and interests, the more you love and care for your personal world, the better you will manage your professional duties and care for your patients. When a doctor stops working, they are replaced by other doctors. When a father or a sister, a son or a daughter, a significant other or a dear friend is gone, they are truly irreplaceable. The world has always been full of wounds, but you enter the next part of your professional journey amidst a world that has never needed you more. It needs your minds to continue to learn, to confront data, and to solve problems. But most of all, it needs your hearts to heal. You are absolutely ready for what lies ahead. I am so grateful that you are joining the ranks of those who will dedicate their hearts and minds to healing our nation and our world. I could not be prouder to have been a part of your journey. You will always be a precious part of mine. Congratulations to each and every one of you.
In the same vein of considering what it means to put your heart and soul into something, it is my great pleasure to name the recipients of the Class of 2020 Teaching Awards. Each year, our graduates recognize faculty that have been superlative teachers, faculty that have, through their teaching and role modeling, contributed to our graduates' hearts and minds. For the Early and Middle Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from East Lansing, Paul Kowalski, MD, and Anthony Paganini, PhD. For the Early and Middle Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from Grand Rapids, Patricia Brewer, PhD, and Ryan Tubbs, PhD. For the Late Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from Flint, Gul Sachwani Dazwani, DO FACOS, and Basim Tofik, MD. For the Late Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from Grand Rapids, James Dumaroff, MD, and Andrew Jameson, MD. For the Late Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from Lansing, David Betton, MD, and Michael McLeod, MD, MBA, FACS. For the Late Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from Midland, Ali Ibrahim, MD, and Natalie Kroll, DO. For the Late Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from Southeast Michigan, Nabil Chabot, MD, and Bashar Yaldo, MD. For the Late Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from Traverse City, Barrett Keelhorn, DO, and Kurt Wright, MD. For the Late Clinical Experience Faculty Awards from the Upper Peninsula, Francis Starr, MD, and Adam Ryan, MD. And now, it is my great pleasure to give a very special time of recognition to someone who has embodied everything that is special about the College of Human Medicine, Ms. Kathy Asif. Ms. Asif has served as the Director of Student Programs for the Flint Community Campus of the Michigan State University College of Human Medicine for over 20 years. She has been a dedicated and uncommonly committed administrator. She has made significant contributions to the college and her work has had a tremendous impact on students, including many of today's graduates. She is a highly respected leader and colleague in the college because of her decades of experience and her years of involvement with the AAMC Group on Student Affairs. Her knowledge and skills are only surpassed by the heart with which she has always done her job. Everyone knows how much she cares about her students and her students feel how much she cares about them every day they spent in our Flint campus. Ms. Asif retires this year, turning her talents and energies and love toward the next leg of her journey. Thank you, Kathy Asif, for everything you have done and everything you have meant to the College of Human Medicine. You are a precious and irreplaceable part of us. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Wagner. It is my great joy to introduce to you Dr. Robin DeMuth. In addition to being the founding assistant dean for clinical experiences, she has been leading Sparrow's medical staff as chief of staff during the pandemic. Please welcome one of the most brilliant, hardest working people on the planet, Dr. Robin DeMuth. Thank you so much, Dr. Sousa. It's indeed wonderful to be together today. Similarly, it's been a privilege to be a part of your medical school journey every semester of these last four years and to see your progress during that time. Graduates, please think back with me and remember your first progress clinical skills exam encounters with standardized patients in that first semester of medical school. You did remember to wash your hands, a wonderful thing, and you were empathetic and kind, but most of you struggled with what to ask. There were often gaps of silence. 
Many of you performed almost no physical exam. And the anxiety, some of you I know were nearly ill. Now think of your most recent simulation experiences earlier this spring. You could think and talk at the same time. You examined and counseled patients, presented them to faculty, considered diagnoses and their clinical implications, and definitely no one was sick. Perhaps most important of all, you still remembered to wash your hands and you continued to be empathetic and kind. Remembering what brought you to medicine in the first place and the values you brought with you and which hopefully were built upon in your years with us at CHM remains critical as you enter into this new phase of your training. You've come so very far in this time and the next years will be ones of further amazing growth. We are tremendously proud of you and so very pleased to celebrate with you and your families and dear friends today. We now transition to the presentation of the graduates of 2020. The College of Human Medicine is a community-based medical school with training occurring in the following communities, Flint, Grand Rapids, Lansing, Midland, Southeast Michigan, Traverse City, and the Upper Peninsula. The graduates will be recognized in alphabetical order by community. The community assistant dean of each respective community will begin each segment with brief remarks. The graduates will then be introduced by the director of student programs for that respective community. Each graduate will have a slide with a name, a picture, and learning society name. Many graduates have agreed to share more details, including honor society membership, dual degrees achieved, specialty, and guest hooder. At the conclusion of formal introductions for each community, several graduates have asked to briefly appear and share a thought. We invite you to enjoy this portion of our program. The first community will be Flint. I am pleased to introduce Community Assistant Dean, Dr. Jennifer Edwards Johnson. Thank you, Dr. Demi. My sincere and heartfelt congratulations to you all, new Spartan MDs. To my class of Flintstones, a thank you and one final request. Thank you so much for your trust, resilience, and flexibility as together we navigated the uncharted territory that a pandemic would bring. Thank you for welcoming me into the Flint family. Unlike our bedrocks, Kathy and Ashley, I haven't had the honor of watching you grow over the last two years. Instead, over the course of five short months, I have been nothing short of inspired by your resilience and encouraged by your audacity. Not only have you demonstrated competence in your personal and professional endeavors, as today, you graduate from our elite institution and go off to continue your training at other elite institutions across the country. Flintstones of 2020, you have demonstrated grace. We have asked repeatedly so much of you in these past several weeks. But my final request is this. In the words of our great Dr. Lipscomb, make it count for two. Mentor others and be mentored. Say yes to challenges. Be as inspired by yourselves as I am and let that power you to continue to leave your indelible mark on our great profession. I ask this of you because I know that you are capable. I am confident in your competence. And above all, I know that if anyone will, Flintstones will. Congratulations to you all. Now please welcome Director of Student Programs, Kathy Asif and Ashley May, who will introduce the 2020 graduates from the Flint campus. It is my honor to introduce to you the 2020 graduating class from the Flint campus. Dr. Kathleen Abedis. Dr. Brittany Ajegba. Dr. Ajegba is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Caleb Arthur. Dr. Clementina Asamua. Dr. Zachary Beavers. Dr. Natalie Blake. Dr. Blake is a 
<laughs> the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Micah Brainerd. Dr. Brainerd is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Maria Buell. Dr. Buell is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Diana Chen. Dr. Chen is also receiving a Master's in Business Administration. Dr. Mutinta Chisawa. Dr. Alyssa Kulaza Cook. Dr. Carlos Thomas. Dr. Thomas is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Brooke Danboys. Dr. Dalia Duzgar. Dr. Duzgar is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners and Public Health Program. Dr. Luis Espinoza. Dr. Gloria Felix. Dr. Gemma Flood. Dr. Emma Gabri. Dr. Benjamin Goitum. Dr. Ali Huck. Dr. Huck is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Lauren Hodge. Dr. Adriana Inez Jackson. Dr. Jackson is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Megan Ketchner. Dr. Ketchner is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Shauna Kim. Dr. Lisa Edith Loblinay. Dr. Marjorie Liggett. Dr. Willie McClure. Dr. McClure is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Jacqueline Mercado. Dr. Mercado is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Mayron Basia Mashisha. Dr. Mashisha is also receiving a Master's in Business Administration. Dr. Alexander McHale. Dr. McHale is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Mustafa Muhammad. Dr. Muhammad is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Jessica Montgomery. Dr. Montgomery is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Megan Mormon. Dr. Mormon is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Margaret Nemitz. Dr. Nemitz is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Heide Nguyen. Dr. Nguyen is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the Completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved Program. Dr. Mary Nguyen. Dr. Temi Tayo Alojo. Dr. Usha Pasapaletti. Dr. Pooja Patel. Dr. Monica Pomerville. Dr. Ryan Prusco. Dr. Sabrina Korunji. Dr. Rachel Sante.
Dr. Sante is the recipient of a certificate of recognition for the completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Danielle Sethi. Dr. Sethi is a recipient of a certificate of recognition for the completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health Program. Dr. Mary Stars. Dr. Sophia Syed. Dr. Sophia Ten I Tessima. Dr. Kiona Thompson. Dr. Thompson is a recipient of a certificate of recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved program. Dr. Shana Vega. Dr. Vega is a recipient of a certificate of recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Medicine for the Underserved program. Dr. Danielle Wilson. Dr. Wilson is a recipient of a certificate of recognition for the completion of the Medical Partners in Public Health program. Dr. Kelsey Wilson. Dr. Stephanie Zoll. Ashley May, Assistant Director of Student Programs, will now call on the Flint Campus graduates who have requested to join us live. Thank you, Kathy. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the graduating students from the Flint Campus who wish to share a word with us live. First up, please welcome Dr. Kathleen Abenis. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Thank you, Dr. Abenis. I now would like to welcome Dr. Brittany Ajegba. Thank you, Dr. LB. I want to say thank you to Dr. Lipscomb, Dr. LB, um, my god sister Abigail, my ABLE crew, um, and all my family near and far. Um, you've been the best support system a girl could ask for. Um, thank you a million times more to my parents to, for your tremendous sacrifice. Um, I couldn't have done any of this without you. Um, and Miss Green, Uncle O, and my grandma Agnes, who just passed a couple weeks ago, this is for you. Rest in peace. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much, Dr. Ajekba. Now, please welcome Dr. Clementina Asamua. Hey, everyone. I just want to say congratulations to the Festival 2020. We did it. Um, congratulations, uh, fellow doctors. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Asamua. Now a word from Dr. Natalie Blake. Please bring our family. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties. technical difficulties. I'm so happy to be a CHM graduate of Flintstone. I had a great experience at CHM. I love my CHM family, my ABLE family. I thank my parents, God, my friends, my honey. And I'm just so excited for the next chapter. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Blake. I would now like to introduce to you Dr. Michael. <laughs> Mike, you're muted, I think. Am I muted now? Can you hear me? I'm up. Uh... It says I'm unmuted. Am I unmuted? Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to say thank you to my husband, first and foremost, and then to all of my family, my friends, everybody who supported me, um, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Brainerd. Now a brief word from Dr. Maria Buell. Thank you. Out medical school and a special shout out to my able family and Dr. Lipscomb. Love you all. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you, Dr. Buell. Please welcome Dr. Diana Chen. I am so proud to be a Spartan MD, so proud of the class of 2020, and most of all, 
all the legacy students and share discovery curriculum, I want to say thank you so much to my mentor Kathleen here and also my family and my partner and the amazing friends that I've made along the way. Congrats class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Now a word from Dr. Mutinta Chisawa. I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family who supported me during these past few years. And then, um, as, as we are the first class to finally graduate from the SDC curriculum, I want to say how proud, of, how proud of us I am. And I just want to wish the class of 2020 good luck and best wishes in everything that we all do. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you, Dr. Chisawa. Now we will hear from Dr. Alyssa Cook. I'd like to thank everyone who's helped me throughout medical school, especially my parents, my husband, and all of my mentors. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Cook. Please welcome Dr. Carlos Damas. Hola, le quiero dar las gracias a mi familia, mi amistades por todo el apoyo de estos años y los quiero mucho. Thank you, everybody. Congrats to the class of 2020. Cheers. Thank you, Dr. Damas. I am honored to introduce Dr. Dalia Duzdar. I just want to say thank you to my family and friends, and way to go, class of 2020! Thank you, Dr. Duzdar. Now we will hear from Dr. Gloria Felix. Hi everyone, thank you to my family and friends, mentors, teachers, my able family, thank you for making this possible. And congratulations class of 2020, we did it! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> thank you, Dr. Felix. Next up, please welcome Dr. Gemma Flood. Um, thank you to all my family, friends, mentors, and faculty for all the support you've given over the years. And congrats to the class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Flood. It is with great joy that I introduce Dr. Emma Gabari. Hey, everyone. Congrats to the class of 2020. I uh, just want to say thank you to my fiance, Michael, my family waiting in the wings, um, and to my amazing OG Moral One group. Um, it's lots of fun. We're doctors now. Yay! Thank you, Dr. Gabari. I now warmly welcome Dr. Ali Huck. So, uh, I want to say congrats to the class of 2020, the inaugural Share Discovery people. We shared a lot together and discovered a lot together. And thank you to my mom, my dad, my sister, and uh, my partner, who will come up next. That's the world's best yeah. Thank you, Dr. Huck. Please welcome Dr. Adriana Jackson. Hi everyone, just wanted to say thank you to my mom, dad, Victor, all my other family and friends. I didn't get here alone. Thank you for the support. We did it! Love y'all, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Jackson. Now we will hear from Dr. Megan Ketchner. Thank you, Dr. Ketchner. Please welcome Dr. Lisa Lavlinay. Hi, everyone. I wanted to thank my family and friends for supporting me throughout all of this. And I wanted to thank all of my educators along the way for teaching me far more than they were expected to. Congrats, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Lavlinay. Now a word from Dr. Marjorie Liggett. I'd like to thank my family, my mom, Vicki, my sister, Birdie, my sister, Emily in Baltimore, my fiance, John. Congratulations, everybody. Rest in peace, dad. Wish you were here. Thank you, Dr. Congratulations. Congratulations to my friends and family. 
Uh, certainly, I want to just appreciate, uh, share my expression of gratitude to God, my family, my beautiful, uh, wonderful wife, uh, to all the friends that I've made throughout this time who've made this experience wonderful uh, and exciting. I love you, and I'm grateful for to have uh, met each of you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. McClure. Now a word from Dr. Jacqueline Mercado. Uh -huh. Hello everyone. No más quiero agradecer mucho a mis papás. Logramos mucho. Thank you, family and friends. Um, Dewey, Tui, Dr. Romero, couldn't have done it without you in the Flint campus. Go green. Go white. Thank you, Dr. Mercado. Now much. I welcome Dr. Mayron Meshisha. Hi. Um, I just want to thank um, my family that's on Zoom right now, my cousin here, and God for getting me oh, to this friend, point. All this friend. Um, hold on, hold on. That allowed me to live my dreams. Oh, he's putting the. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, Emma. <laughs> Congrats! <laughs> thank you, Dr. Mashisha. I would now like to introduce Dr. Mustafa Mohammed. You're the dean now. Okay. Uh, hi, hi everyone. I uh, just wanted to thank uh, everyone. Uh, thank my parents. Thank my family. Uh, my parents, family. Thank my sister. Uh, thank God. Uh, thank all the faculty and friends I made over time. I've been really thankful to be here and really blessed to be really blessed to be here. Honestly, and congrats to everyone else. Congrats, 2020. In the background. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Mohammed. I now warmly welcome Dr. Jessica Montgomery. Dr. Jessica Montgomery is being hooded by her father, Dr. Thomas Montgomery. Congratulations everyone and thank you to everyone that supported us throughout these past four years and before to help us get into medical school. We couldn't have done it without all of you. Congrats everyone. Thank you, Dr. Montgomery. Now we will hear from Dr. Megan Mormon. Hey everyone. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thanks to everyone who helped us get this far. And congratulations to everyone on their next beginning. World's best doctor, better sister-in-law. Get it, you can't. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Mormon. Now we will hear from Dr. Margaret Nemitz. I want to thank my parents for this creative way of putting me, for all my family and friends who've supported me on, along the way. And I want to congratulate my fellow class of 2020 doctors uh, that are going to make huge, huge changes in this world. Love you all. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Nemitz. I now introduce to you Dr. Tamitayo Alojo. Uh, thank you. Congrats, class of 2020. Um, thankful to God for getting me here. I want to thank my family, my parents, my siblings. Thank Nadia. Um, and uh, <laughs> thank you, class of 2020. Uh, congrats, everybody. Woo! Thank you, Dr. Alojo. Now, please welcome Dr. Pooja Patel. Hi everyone, I just wanna thank all of our amazing faculty and staff for getting us here, um, my family and friends, and also congratulate my fellow classmates. There's no one else I would have rather done this with. Um, go green. Woo! Congratulations! Thank you, Dr. Patel. Now a word from Dr. Amina Ramadan. Okay, go. Congratulations. Um, thank you, Ashley. I want to thank um, my family, especially my mom, who's hitting me today. Happy Mother's Day tomorrow to all the moms that are watching. Uh, I'd like to thank my friends, the wonderful faculty and staff at CHM for their love and support, um, and also all of my colleagues in the class of 2020. This was the best group I could have asked for to go through this wild ride with, um, and it's been one of the greatest honors of my life to serve as your representative on the Dean's Council. Congratulations to the class of 2020, and go green! Thank you, Dr. Ramadan. I would now like to introduce Dr. Sabrina Rungi. Hi, everyone. Hey, everyone. I just want to say congratulations. I'm so proud to know all of you. This is my mom and the other Dr. Rungi over here, and we have one in the back. Um, so I just want to say congratulations and cheers, everyone. 
Thank you, Dr. Rungi. I would now like to introduce Dr. Safiya Syed. Congrats, class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Syed. And now please welcome Dr. Sophia Tessima. Hi guys, congrats everyone. I'm so excited for all of us. Thank you to all the faculty and staff who have supported us through this way. And I'd also like to really thank all my friends and family who will be watching this. I'd like to thank my dad and my mom. And also, <laughs> my dad, Dr. Asrat Tasuma, will be hooding me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Tasuma. I now welcome Dr. Kiona Thompson. Hi, everyone. Thank you. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020 um, and thank God for my family, my parents, um, all of my friends, faculty, and mentors who have helped get me here today. You guys are incredible and I couldn't have done it without you. Congratulations, 2020. Love you. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. Please welcome Dr. Shana Vega. Hi, everyone. I just want to thank my family, my uh, friends, partner, and mentors for allowing me to make it to this beautiful journey. Thank you, Dr. Vega. Allow me to introduce Dr. Kelsey Wilson. Hi, I just want to thank all of uh, the people that have supported me on my medical journey, especially my grandma. Hi, Grandma Ellie, and my papa who passed a few weeks ago. I love you guys, and congrats to all my fellow grads. Woo! Woo! Go Thank you, Dr. Wilson. Now allow me to introduce Dr. Stephanie Zoll. Thank you, Dr. Zoll. Now please welcome Dr. Brooke Danboys. I just want to say congratulations to everybody who's graduating. Thank you to my friends and family. Thank you to Ashley and Kathy. I couldn't have done it without you. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Danboys. Lastly, I would like to introduce Dr. Rachel Sante. Hi everyone, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone at CHM, mentors, faculty, staff who's helped me and everyone else along the way, um, to my family and friends who have never stopped supporting me, and a big congratulations to all of my classmates in the class of 2020. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Sante. That concludes the live remarks for the Flint campus graduates. I would now like to introduce Community Assistant Dean, Dr. Angela Thompson-Bush, to welcome the Grand Rapids campus graduates. Hello, graduating class of 2020. I'm excited to be here with you today to celebrate this great accomplishment. Although everyone here at this celebration has been there to cheer you on, you have done all of the heavy lifting. You've worked hard and accomplished many amazing things over the past four years, including learning about many disciplines of medicine, passing numerous exams, performing, and in some cases, publishing research, losing countless hours of sleep, making numerous personal and financial sacrifices, and now living through a pandemic. When you consider the person that you've become over the past four years, you are so different from when you started here in August of 2016. However, one thing that hasn't changed is your compassion. That is one of the main reasons that you entered the field of medicine and no one can ever take that away from you. Sir William Osler was one of the founding physicians at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. He described equanimitas, a physician must present an appearance of calmness even when faced with difficult circumstances, yet that calm and cool virtue should never create a hardness or a lack of compassion and empathy toward a patient or peer. Compassion requires humility, kindness, empathy, but also a call to action. While watching or reading the recent news on COVID-19, you've undoubtedly seen people who are sick 
who are put out of their work and are putting their own lives at risk by caring for ill patients without proper equipment. You've not only felt their suffering, but also you have wanted to get in there and help in any way possible, which is exactly what compassion is. As long as you remember every day how lucky you are that people are willing to trust you with their life, you will forever remain compassionate. I've known many of you for four years in various ways, and I salute each and every one of you as you move forward as the next generation of amazing, humble, kind, and compassionate graduates of Michigan State University College of Human Medicine. A special shout out to not only the graduates of the Grand Rapids campus, but also to Learning Society at Grand Rapids Adams Family too. I hope you feel as lucky as I do that we had so much time to learn together. Congratulations to all of you. Now please welcome Corey Kapersky, co-director of student programs, who will introduce the graduates from the Grand Rapids campus. Good afternoon. My name is Corey Kapersky, and it is my pleasure to present to you the 2020 Grand Rapids campus graduates. Dr. Kara Barber. Dr. Miriam Behrman. Dr. Andrew Bartholomew. Dr. Shelby Beckler. Dr. Katherine Copeland. Dr. Marissa Costello. Dr. Ariel Dempsey. Dr. Allie Eichholz. Dr. Mohammed. Kasim Basia. Dr. Alyssa Fedorko. Dr. Fedorko is also receiving a Doctorate of Philosophy in Genetics. Dr. Emily Flam. Dr. Kendra Marie Garcia. Dr. J. Marie Geller. Dr. Sonia Gentili. Dr. Gentili is also receiving a Doctorate of Philosophy in Physiology. Dr. Tony Josai. Dr. Caitlin Gereiner. Dr. Alec Haas. Dr. Jacob Hall. Dr. Jeffrey Hansen. Dr. Albert Zhao. Dr. Sarah Kalisak. Dr. Jason King. Dr. Monica LaPointe. Dr. Gerald Lilly. Dr. Alexander Logi. Dr. Tyler Masters. Dr. Craig Mattisaw. Dr. Caitlin McCarthy. Dr. Alexis Milker. Dr. Maritab Mangustab. Dr. Lauren Messer.
Dr. Julie Huynh. Dr. Katie Huynh. Dr. Matthew Oram. Dr. Bennett Osentowski. Dr. Mark Pau. Dr. Emily Partington. Dr. Matthew Pate. Dr. Christina Perez. Dr. Joseph Peroski. Dr. Samuel Pettigrew. Dr. Christine Phillip. Dr. Mark Pressler. Dr. Michael Rall. Dr. Matthew Roth. Dr. Aaron Rourke. Dr. Emma Rusakis. Dr. Laura Schroeder. Dr. Schroeder is also receiving a Doctorate of Philosophy in Cell and Molecular Biology. Dr. Truman Silvasi. Dr. Hannah Skoke. Dr. Jesse Skoke. Dr. Nicholas Tooley. Dr. Lily Tran. Dr. Kayla Vanderstel. Dr. Matthew Webb. Dr. Samir Yassi. Dr. Sharon Yusobov. Director for Student Programs, Holly Nice, will now call Director on the Grand Rapids campus program. graduates who have requested to join us live. Thank you, Corey. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the graduating students from the Grand Rapids campus who wish to share a word with us live. First up, please welcome Dr. Ariel Dempsey. Teach me my God in peace and all things to succeed and what I do in any thing to do is so for thee. Thank you for everyone. And I love you, Grandma and Grandpa. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Dr. Dempsey. Now a word from Dr. Kendra Garcia. Congrats, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Garcia. Please welcome Dr. Jamarie Geller. Hey everybody. Um, this is Jeremy. Jeremy and I have uh, grown a lot over the years, and we'd like to thank our uh, mentors and family and friends for all the uh, wonderful support. Love you guys. Thank you, Dr. Geller. I would now like to introduce to you Dr. Tony Josai. Hi guys, thank you to my parents, my fiance Emily, my sisters Violet and Tina, and the rest of my family and friends for all of the continued support. And congratulations to my uh, fellow classmates in the class of 2020. Wonderful, thank you Dr. Josai. Now a brief word from Dr. Mary Tab Mangus Tab. Hello everyone, 
congrats. I just wanted to thank my family, all my friends, all my beautiful classmates. And I just wanted, wanted to leave you all a simple quote. It's from the philosopher Seneca. From every new beginning, it comes from some other beginnings end. So enjoy this new beginning, everyone. It'll be beautiful. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Thank you, Dr. Mangus Cobb. Now a word from Dr. Lauren Messer. Hello, everyone. I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family and mentors. Uh, congrats to the class of 2020. I love you all. Thank you, Dr. Messer. Please welcome Dr. Katie Wynn. Hi, um, thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh, congratulations, everybody. I'm forever grateful to CHM for taking a chance on me. I wanted to say thank you to my mom, my dad, my fiance, Sean, and my brother who's sleeping right now. But um, happy Mother's Day, mom. I hope you guys have a good day. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Dr. Wynn. Now we will hear from Dr. Samuel Pettigrew. Hey, everybody. Congratulations. Hey, Daddy. Yay, Daddy. Yay, Daddy. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Congrats. Good luck. Thank you, Dr. Pettigrew. Please welcome Dr. Michael Rall. I just want to say thank you to my family, especially my wonderful wife and kids. Yay, Mike! We're so proud of you. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Rall. I am honored to introduce Dr. Matthew Roth. Yep. I just want to thank everyone who's helped me. Uh, uh, during our journey through med school, I want to thank my whole partner, Katie, for all our support. I want to thank my parents and my brother. And I want to thank all my friends, family, and classmates who have helped uh, us all through the years at CHM. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Oh, God. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. Roth. Now a brief word from Dr. Aaron Rourke. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Rourke. I would like to introduce Dr. Lily Tran. Hi. Thank you, friends, family, and MSU for helping me accomplish my dream. Congratulations, class of 2020. We finally made it as doctors. Yay. Yay. Cheers. Yay. Thank you, Dr. Tran. I now welcome Dr. Kayla Vanderstel. Congrats, class of 2020. We did it. I want to thank God for it's by his grace that I got here and thank my family and friends for their support and especially my amazing husband for his constant encouragement these last four years. Good luck everyone in residency next year. Thank you, Dr. Vanderstel. It is now my pleasure to introduce Community Assistant Dean, Dr. Renuka Guerra, to welcome the land graduate. Thank you, Holly. Congratulations, class of uh, 2020. You did it. We are so very proud of your accomplishment and are here celebrating uh, your achievements with your family. Uh, and we are here to wish you a very bright future. We are now sending you back to your communities as CHM ambassadors, as the messenger of CHM core values. This corona pandemic has, a, has taught us many lessons. It has reminded us that we were not prepared to prevent this pandemic. We had to stop everything, shelter in place, and change our ways of living. We had to use uh, telehealth to deliver healthcare, communicate with our patients, and respond to their needs. Many of our colleagues, physicians, nurses, respiratory therapists, and healthcare staff uh, have been working in the front line with those afflicted by this deadly virus. Some of them, in the process, lost their lives. And yet, we keep on hearing there are many others who are going uh, to the front line, uh, um, traveling hundreds of miles to work in the emergency room, uh, critical care units uh, to help uh, 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 coronavirus uh, patients. They have done this out of a 
a true sense of social responsibility. Coronavirus affects all human beings equally, and yet we have learned that the most reliable determinant of the disease burden, even in this case, has been the zip code where these uh, people live. Unfortunately, for this structured social disparity, the disease has affected certain racial groups much more severely than others. As CHM ambassadors in the society, we truly hope that you will be their doctors, teachers, and advocates for those unfairly carrying the burden of this disease, that you will become their voice. We hope that you will help them get the care they deserve uh, to survive this epidemic. Uh, this will need more than compassionate care. Uh, I have full confidence that no one is better prepared for this task than this class of 2020. Congratulations again. And now uh, it, I'll welcome Lansing DSP, Sarah McCoy, to introduce the new graduates from Lansing community. Sarah? Michigan State University College of Human Medicine, class of 2020 Lansing community. Dr. Michael N. Andrew. Dr. Anita Arthur. Dr. Chad C. Bambrick. Dr. Jenna Bernson. Dr. Tammy Brotherson. Dr. Hannah K. Choi. Dr. Abdul A. Choudhury. Dr. Roger E. Davis. Dr. August Grace. Dr. Siamak Hijabian. Dr. Christina R. Haybor. Dr. Crystal L. Holly. Dr. Colleen E. Howing. Dr. Madeline M. Halsey. Dr. John P. Imperial. Dr. Keith B. McCauley. <coughs> Dr. T. Wynn. Dr. James O'Brien. Dr. Baju Patel. Dr. Sarah A. Pollock. Dr. Chelsea A. Pote. Dr. Genevieve K. Porazon. Dr. Richard C. Rebello. Dr. Albert D. Tamayo. Dr. Christopher A. Thorburn. Dr. Jun Sung Yu.
Good afternoon, I'm Sarah McVoy, and it's, I, I'm very proud to present the Lansing Campus graduating class of 2020 who wish to appear live. Dr. Michael Andrew. Thank you. First and foremost, God is great. Mom, I'm a doctor. To my rock, Arama, family, friends, and countless mentors in the Sparta Nation, thank you. This is for my daughter, Nesu. Go green. Thank you, Dr. Andrew. Dr. Jenna Burnson. Hi, everybody. I just want to shout out to all my family and friends joining me. I've got them live behind me and whoever watches this video later. Go green. Thank you, Dr. Burnson. Dr. Abdul Chowdhury. Uh, congrats to the class of 2020. I want to say thank you to God, my family, uh, friends, and everyone at CHM, including Sarah, Dr. Gira, Pat, and Michelle. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Dr. Chowdhury. Dr. August Grace. Uh, yeah. Thanks everybody, go green. Thank you, Dr. Grace. Dr. Christina Haybor. Hold on, hold on, babe, hold on. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going. Uh, congrats to the class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Haybor. Dr. Crystal Holly. I just want to thank God, my friends, and my family that have supported me through this challenging and amazing journey. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a cough. And um, thank you, Aubrey and Graham. Everyone knows who that is. And I love you, Mom. I did it. Yay. Thank you, Dr. Holly. Dr. Colleen Howing. Hi everyone, I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family, all of my fur children, and especially Sarah McVoy because she's the light at the end of the tunnel and I could not have done it without my vent sessions in her office every morning. Uh, love you all. Thank you, Dr. <laughs> Howling. Dr. Madeline Holsey. Hey everyone, congratulations. Wish we were all together today to celebrate. Uh, we did it. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Halsey. Dr. J.P. Imperial. Hey, congratulations, class of 2020. I want to thank my <laughs> I want to thank my wife, uh, my daughter, all my family here, all my friends, um, faculty, mentors, everybody there. Um, we did it! Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Imperial. Dr. Keith McCauley. Hi, everyone. Just want to thank my wife and my family, my mentors, Sarah, Dr. Wagner. Uh, and the rest of our class. Couldn't be more thankful for the time I've had at MSU. Go green. Go white. Thank you, Dr. McCauley. Dr. Sarah Pollack. Hello, everyone. I want to just thank my family and friends for all their love and support, and congratulations to my fellow Spartan MDs. Thank you, Dr. Pollack. Dr. Chelsea Pote. Hi, everyone. Me and my dog, Tur, would like to say thank you to my parents and to my uh, family and friends to my husband John. I'm really grateful to be here. Congrats class of 2020 and go green. Thank you Dr. Pote. Dr. Genevieve Porzan. Hi everybody. This is my husband Dan and this is my dog Henry and I want to thank everybody for supporting me on my way through this journey and remember to encourage all of your loved ones to go out and vote in November. Congratulations! Woo! Go green! Go. Thank you, Dr. Porazan. Dr. Richard Rubello. Oh, to my mom and dad, my little sister and family in Brazil, my girlfriend, and everyone from CHM that has shown me love along the way, I am forever grateful. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Rubello. Dr. Albert Tamayo. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you to the faculty and all my friends at CHM, especially Sarah Michelle and Dr. Guerra, uh, as well as thank you to my family, my wife, my beautiful children. Um, congrats to everybody else. Thank you, Dr. Tamayo. That concludes the live appearances for the Lansing campus. I'm now very pleased to introduce Dr. Paula Close, Community Assistant Dean for the Midland Regional Campus. Thank you, Sarah. Congratulations, class of 2020. 
We are so proud of this first graduating class of the Shared Discovery Curriculum. Your class has truly shown professional responsibility in every step of your medical education. Some of the attributes of professional responsibility are creating a positive learning and healthcare delivery environment, being present, showing up on time, and always making yourself available to patients and your colleagues. It includes putting patient care needs and the needs of others above your own. It requires co coping with conflict and ambiguity in a positive manner. And it includes fostering meaningful relationships and caring for your own wellness. You have shown all of these things. For the students of the Midland Regional Campus, I have had the distinct privilege of working with this brave, generous, kind, forgiving, and resilient group of students for the past two years. You have been brave, having the courage to sign up for a brand new curriculum, and you've been generous, helping us to define our weaknesses and improve the educational experiences for all students. You have been kind and forgiving when we didn't know all the answers, and you have been patient while we figured it out. You have been resilient. Uh, you're navigating your education through times of tremendous change, and nothing speaks resilience like graduating and starting residency during a pandemic. I know if Bridget were here, she would say the same thing. You will always be special to us. Please welcome Julia Terhoon, Interim Director of Student Programs and Assistant Director for the Leadership in Rural Medicine Curriculum, who will introduce the graduates from the Midland community. Dr. Evan A. Bachman. Dr. Bachman is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Michael S. Bassett. Dr. Lauren E. English. Dr. English is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Abigail M. Gazinski. Dr. Gazinski is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Joshua S. Hales. Dr. Hales is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Michael S. Hubble. Dr. Hubble is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Molly A. Kempa. Dr. Katherine E. Klammer. Dr. Jamie L. Kozdron. Dr. Kozdron is a recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for the completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Michael J. Ponkowski. Dr. Charlene V. Roberto. Dr. Kyle M. Sprawl. Dr. Leah K. Starks. Dr. Rochelle L. Versail. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the graduating students from the Midland Regional Campus who wish to share a word with us live. Dr. Jamie Kozdron. Hi, I'm so grateful to have this opportunity in my life. <laughs> and I'm so thankful for my husband, uh, our parents, our family, and friends. Congratulations to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jamie, and congratulations. I now introduce 
Community Assistant Dean, Dr. Valerie Overholt, to welcome the Southeast Michigan campus graduates. Thank you, Julie. Uh, Southeast Michigan campus class of 2020 graduates, I am so grateful to be here to celebrate this very important accomplishment with you, even on this virtual platform, rather than on the dais where we would so much rather be. Speaking for the administration, faculty, and staff of our campus, we are all so very proud of you. We remember when you excitedly arrived on campus for your orientation, and we watched as you worked hard and learned and grew into the competent new physicians you now are. It has been our privilege to be by your side over these last few years. As the first class in the new shared discovery curriculum, you were part of an integrated way of teaching and learning that started you on a lifelong vocation to care for patients and to continue to learn in the ever evolving field of medicine. One of the six responsibilities in the MSU CHM Virtuous Professional System of Development is respect for others. I am confident it will be at the core of your treatment of patients and your practice of medicine. Society will now look upon you with great esteem, and it will be even more important to maintain your humility. Bring that humility to your patient encounters. Accept your patient's autonomy appreciate their cultural and lifestyle differences, and moreover, value their dignity. As William Osler wrote, listen to your patient. He is telling you the diagnosis. Take the time, listen, understand. His advice will make you a better clinician. It will also convey your respect and will earn you the respect of your patients. You understand the important contributions of all members of the healthcare team. We all learn from each other as I have learned from you. I have been inspired by your stories of your path to medicine. I have seen your hard work in your achievements and been moved by the compassion you have brought to each other and to your patients. You have what it takes to make a difference and the world sorely needs you now. You enter this profession minted by the pandemic, as the New York Times quoted one 2020 med school graduate. Your work ahead is profound, but you are ready for the task. I know that because I know you. You embraced your medical education with enthusiasm and commitment that will carry forward to your career in medicine. It is a privilege to care for others and you will do that with respect and with all the outstanding qualities that brought you to this day. I am truly honored to have been part of your journey and am so, so proud of who you are and what you bring to medicine. You will represent the Michigan State College of Human Medicine well and will join the large family of graduates who embody the values of the college in their respective residencies and places of practice. I give you my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes. Now, please welcome Dr. Adrian DeGiffis, Director of Student Programs, who will introduce the graduates from the Southeast Michigan campus. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Adrian DeGiffis, Director of Student Programs for the Southeast Michigan campus, and it gives me great pleasure to present to you the Southeast Michigan campus graduating class of 2020, Dr. Sarah Akhtar. Dr. Whitney Bailey. Dr. Ryan Berry. Dr. Tiffany Dino. Dr. Joshua Bolter. Dr. Uchichuku Izigwe. Dr. Larissa Georgian. Dr. Mayank Gupta. Dr. Suba Hanif. Dr. Catherine Hartman. Dr. 
Dr. Emma Herman. Dr. Shaniqua Highsmith. Dr. Jeffrey Holton. Dr. Shalala Howard. Dr. Andrew Su. Dr. Anika Huck. Dr. Murtaza Hussein. Dr. Amabel Karu. Dr. Hasib Khan. Dr. Shema Khandakar. Dr. Lauren Kiryakoza. Dr. Ijioma Nanabu. Dr. Justin Nofar. Dr. Christopher Picking. Dr. Connor Ray. Dr. Rachel Shamoon. Dr. Vinay Sharma. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jeffis, and it's my great pleasure now to introduce the Southeast Michigan campus grads who'd like to share a few words with us live. First up, please welcome Dr. Sarah Akhtar. Hi, um, I just wanted to do a quick shout out to my husband, Neville, and my in-laws in Pennsylvania. I uh, can't uh, wait to start um, working with you, Neville, in July. And thank you to my siblings, uh, Soheb, Sam, and Saneha, for being the best source of entertainment during med school and never letting me, board, me be bored or, um, you know, just always supporting me. And to my parents, um, thank you for pushing me even when I didn't believe in myself. And um, there is nothing I can do to thank you guys for the selfless dedication you guys have given me. And this is for you, Mom. We love you. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Akhtar. Now I welcome Dr. Tiffany Bino. Hi, I just want to thank my mom and dad and my brother Anthony and all my friends and family who have supported me and a special thanks to my best friend Swami who is supposed to be hooding me today. Congrats, everyone. Yay. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Bino. Now a word from Dr. Mayank Gupta. Congratulations, everyone. What a wild journey this has been. This class is some of the most dedicated and compassionate people I've ever met. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you so much, Dr. Gupta. Please welcome Dr. Suba Hanif. I just wanted to say thank you to my mom and my sister, oh! my friends, and my CHM family. Rest in power to my dad. Wish you were here. We love you and special thanks to Dr. Overholt, Dr. DeGiffis, and Dr. Brady for always being there for me. Okay, thank Congrats. you. Thank you, Dr. Hanif. I would now like to introduce Dr. Shalala Howard. Hi, I just want to say thank you to all my family and friends and everyone that supported me through this journey. We did it! <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Howard. Now, Dr. Murtaza Hussein. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> let me start now. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you to the Almighty. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my fiance and our faculty for supporting and getting me here. I can't believe we all made it. We will definitely be a memorable graduating class and not just because of Corona. I wish we could all celebrate in person, but at least we saved that gas money. Woo! 
Thank you, Dr. Hussein. I now welcome Dr. Hasib Khan. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you, Dr. Khan. Now we'll hear from Dr. Lauren Kiryakosa. Hi, everyone. Hey, classmates. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you to the faculty. Dad, I hope you're watching. Mom's guest writer today. Woo! I do it all over again. Congrats, guys. Thank you, Dr. Kiriakosa. Finally, please welcome Dr. Justin Nofar. Hey, everyone. Uh, I just want to say thank you to all my family and friends. Wouldn't be here without my amazing support system. We did it. Woo! Yeah! 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 Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Nofar. Thank you to all of our students. This concludes live remarks for the Southeast Michigan campus graduates. Now, please allow me to introduce Community Assistant Dean, Dr. Daniel Webster, who will introduce the Traverse City graduates. CHM class of 2020, we are honored to be with you as you and your family celebrate one of your milestones along your journey of life. Our thought for you to consider as you move on your journey of life is honesty. The origins of honesty come from the Latin honestus, meaning honor, respectability, and virtue. The plant so named honesty is for its seed pods, which are translucent, symbolizing transparency. In a more personal way, honesty refers to the golden rule of treating others as you want to be treated. As you move on your journey of life from today forward, if you are transparent with your patients, your peers, your family, and most importantly, with yourself, you will be successful in all that you do along this journey of life. Now, please welcome Christy Levine, Director of Student Programs, who will introduce the graduates from the Traverse City community. Thank you. It's an honor to introduce to you today the 2020 graduating class from the Traverse City campus. Dr. Randy Abdul Karim Bitrus. Dr. Emily Cross. Dr. Cross is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for Completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine's Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Travis Mitchell Dunn. Dr. Dunn is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for Completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine's Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Alan Tony Eid. Dr. Stacy Michelle Fortin. Dr. Yona Hojalari. Dr. Kathleen Louis Gray. Dr. Louis Gray is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for Completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine's Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Cody Allen Newland. Dr. Nolan is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for Completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine's Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Shelby Marie Owens. Dr. Owens is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for Completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine's Rural Community Health Program. Dr. Yiji Abigail Park. Dr. Trista Rosing. Dr. Rosing is the recipient of a Certificate of Recognition for Completion of the Leadership in Rural Medicine's Rural Community Health Program. Nikki Brown, Assistant Director of Student Programs, will now call on the Traverse City Campus graduates who have requested to join us live. Thank you, Christy. It is a great honor that I introduce to you the graduating students from the Traverse City campus who wish to share a word with us live. Please welcome Dr. Stacy Fortin. Stacy, I believe you're muted. <laughs> okay, try again. <laughs> Just want to say thank you to all my family and friends for their support and encouragement. Um, thank you to the physicians and faculty that taught us along the way. Congrats to all my classmates. Go green. Right. 
Good luck to you, Dr. Fortin. Now a word from Dr. Yona Haxalari. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to my parents, my brother, um, all the faculty and staff at CHM, especially my Traverse City crew, and that six of my resident class are graduating here today with me. So I can't wait to see you all in July. Yay! <laughs> Best wishes to you, Dr. Haxalari. I now welcome Dr. Kathleen Lewis Gray. Hello everyone. I want to thank everybody from Traverse City campus, all the CHM faculty. I want to thank Don and I want to thank my family. Go Green! Congratulations, Dr. Lewis Gray. We will now hear from Dr. Shelby Owens. <laughs> Hi, and congrats to the class of 2020. I'm so proud of all of us and all we've done to get to this point. Thank you all so much. Kind as regards to you, Dr. Owens. Lastly, I am proud to introduce Dr. Trista Rosing. I would just like to thank the Traverse City campus, my mentor, Dr. Wendling, my grandparents, Grip Wayne and Dorothy for encouraging me to go to college and supporting me along the way. My mom and my dad who were there for my son when I couldn't be and most importantly, my son who has supported me and sacrificed the most. And I'm so proud of him. Thank you. The best of luck to you, Dr. Rosie. That concludes the live remarks from the Traverse City campus. I now have the privilege to introduce the Community Assistant Dean, Dr. Stuart Johnson, to welcome the Upper Peninsula campus graduates. To the graduates of the Upper Peninsula campus, it has been a privilege working with you on your path to become the physicians that individuals, families, communities, this nation, and the world need you to be. I know that you will excel in residency and beyond. The UP team extends our congratulations to you and to each graduate today. At the College of Human Medicine, we take pride in our name. The human element of our name will always set us apart as long as we stay true to our core virtues. Remember that the letters C, H, M also stand for courage, humility, and mercy. We remember these virtues best by allowing them to penetrate and change who we become. They are evident in what we say and in what we do. Courage, the ability to stand to do something that frightens us, the courage to show up on vital health and social matters, to advocate for others. Humility, to be humble is to recognize that there is always somewhat, something more to learn and that learning can only come with being open and sincere in our interactions with others. Mercy, mercy is to show compassion and forgiveness. It is to recognize that positive intent is what drives most human action and therefore requires us to be merciful when things do not go as hoped or planned. That mercy is offered to others, but can and should also be offered to self. Remember, mercy always results in gratitude and growth, which will renew us. Be courageous, be, be humble, be merciful. As you embody these virtues, you will not only be a physician, you'll become something far greater. You'll be a healing hand, an inspiration to a young child, a bearer of hope to those who suffer, an answer to prayer, and you will be the best that the College of Human Medicine has to offer. It is now my honor to introduce Susan Tinknell, the Director of Student Programs of the Upper Peninsula Campus. She will acknowledge each of our students from our campus. Hello, my name is Susan Tinknell, Director of Student Programs for the Upper Peninsula Community Campus. It is my pleasure to present the Upper Peninsula Community Campus graduates. These students are all recipients of a Certificate of Recognition for completing the Leadership in Rural Medicine Rural Physician Program. Dr. Sean Chapman. Dr. Sophia Joy Garfinkel. Dr. Riley Marie Johnson. Dr. Andrea Kubicki. Dr. Amelia Mattioli. 
Dr. John Parent. Dr. Danielle Lynn Shepherly. Dr. Kenneth Side. Dr. Elizabeth Lillian Tuma. Dr. Max Andrew Waldrup. Dr. Brianna Susan Zender. Hello, I will now introduce the Upper Peninsula campus graduates who will be joining us live. Dr. Elizabeth Tuma. <laughs> Hi, congratulations to everyone from the Upper Peninsula. I want to thank my family, my boyfriend, my friends, um, all the staff at the UP campus, and my study buddy Zora. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Tuma. I now welcome Dr. Brianna Zender. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to thank my family, my parents, Drs. Jean and Brian Zender, um, who set incredible role models for me uh, my entire life, who always believed in me, that I was smart enough to do anything I put my mind to, um, even when I was full of doubt and fear. Um, this is the same flower crown I wore at my white coat ceremony and I'm wearing it again today on graduation day. It brings me a lot of joy to share this moment with you. Um, thanks to my family, both near and far in Washington. We did it, congrats. Yay. Thank you so much graduates. I now ask that the candidates for the degree Doctor of Medicine please stand or at least sit up straight. The faculty of the College of Human Medicine certifies that these applicants have completed the requirements of the degree Doctor of Medicine. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Michigan State University, I confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Medicine. Congratulations. Yay. I now introduce Dr. Jonathan Gold, director of the Learning Society Academy. Dr. Gold was chair of the CHM Curriculum Committee and co-chaired the SDC Design Group during the design phase of our curriculum. Dr. Gold. Thank you, Dr. Souza. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, it is uh, my pleasure to be with you today uh, and to celebrate your transition to the community of physicians. Uh, I hope that you continue in uh, this community as uh, um, learners and contributors to whatever community uh, you end up with. Uh, please uh, read with me as we recite the Michigan State University College of Human Medicine Graduates Oath. I do solemnly swear by that which I hold most sacred that my ultimate responsibility is to the people I serve, that it will be my privilege to maintain their health, treat their diseases, and help them realize their fullest potential in life, that I will recognize my responsibility as a teacher of my patients, of students, and of the public, that I will respect the rights and feelings, preserve the privacy and honor, and honor the dignity of my patients that I will strive to demonstrate honesty, goodwill, and integrity, both in the execution of my duties and in my personal life, that I will not hesitate to offer help to or seek assistance from my fellow professionals to improve the services that we deliver, that I will continue to improve my skills, expand my knowledge, and re-examine my needs as a rational, emotional, and spiritual being, that I will serve my community and address the needs of society, thereby best serving the needs of my patients. In the pursuit of these goals, let me be humble and thus grow. Let me care and thus act courageously. Let me be 
uh, kindled and thus find confidence. I'm ready to enter the profession of medicine and I accept it as my calling. Thank you, Dr. Gold. Some of our students are not just joining the profession of medicine as physicians. Today, some of your colleagues are taking their next step in the military. Joining us next is Dr. Michael Zarafa, Major 349th Combat Support Hospital, U.S. Army Reserve Medical Corps. Major. Thank you, Dr. Sousa, and congratulations to the CHM graduating class of 2020. I'm here today to recognize our six graduates who will be, uh, have the privilege of serving as physicians in the world's greatest military. It is truly an honor for me to do this. Our military has been there for some key support in critical events over the last 244 years. The Revolutionary War that allowed us to uh, gain independence and establish our constitution, World War II that freed Europe, or even the military's role over the last two months to help our country bend but not break from COVID-19. It's important to check in on the big picture things like this once in a while, but today I'm going to recognize the individual selflessness of our six graduates. There's a rather amazing and predictable human response to battle fatigue. I felt it last summer during my forward deployment in Kuwait and Iraq. You kind of lose sight of those big picture things the politics, or the campaign overall, and your full being attends to the welfare of the humans at your side. Let me give you some examples. I saw a cook bend over backwards to make army food. Well, I guess you could call it food, uh, but to make our meals more enjoyable. I saw an engineer on his way back from a long day in the 130 degree desert heat stop at our medical aid station and help us plan a shaded walkway out to our equipment shed. I saw one of our very own army medics from my platoon give her best pair of socks to a Marine with a foot full of blisters. None of this stuff was done for the big picture. It wasn't for the global war on terrorism, Operation Enduring Freedom, or Operation Spartan Shield, the campaigns that we were supporting. It was done simply for the meal or the shade or the feet of the humans at our sides. To our graduates, you six have volunteered to gear up, whether that's with Kevlar body armor or an N95 mask, to doctor for our nation's greatest asset, the men and women of our military. We are all so proud of you for doing this. What I am especially thankful for is that we now have six more CHM graduates in our ranks in the military ready to give that extra human touch to the good people who cook, engineer, and fight for our country. Today, our soldier and our four airmen will be promoted from second lieutenant to captain, and our Navy sailor will be promoted from ensign to lieutenant. This will indicate a change in their insignia from a single gold bar to two silver bars to be placed on their shoulder. This pinning will be done by important people to each individual. Pinning is a great honor in our tradition. U.S. Army Second Lieutenant Travis Dunn is promoted to captain and will fill his office at Madigan Army Medical Center. His captain bars will be pinned by his parents Pete and Susie Dunn. Congratulations, Captain Dunn, and thank you for your service. U.S. Air Force Second Lieutenant Luis Espinoza is promoted to captain and will fill his office at a civilian residency assignment at the Healthcare Alliance University of Houston. His captain bars will be pinned by his brother, Marine Sergeant Edson Espinoza. Congratulations, Captain Espinoza, and thank you for your service. U.S. Air Force Second Lieutenant Michael Hubble is promoted to captain and will fill his office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. His captain bars will be pinned by his sister, U.S. Army Captain Teresa Hubble. Congratulations, Captain Hubble, and thank you for your service. 
U.S. Air Force Second Lieutenant Matthew Oram is promoted to captain and will fill his office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. His captain bars will be pinned by his mother, CHM graduate Dr. Jean Oram, and his father, CHM graduate and Navy veteran, Dr. David Oram. Congratulations, Captain Oram, and thank you for your service. U.S. Air Force Second Lieutenant Max Waldrop is promoted to captain and will fill his office at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. His captain bars will be pinned by his parents, Randy and Janine Waldrop. Congratulations, Captain Waldrop, and thank you for your service. U.S. Navy Ensign Cody Newland is promoted to lieutenant and will fill his office at Naval Medical Center, Portsmouth. His lieutenant bars will be pinned by his wife, Ms. Kelly Newland. Congratulations, Lieutenant Newland, and thank you for your service. I will now recite the commissioned officer's oath of office, and I would ask that our six promoting officers recite from their locations the same oath with me. I, Michael Zarafa, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. Once again, congratulations to our newly promoted officers. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Zarafa. Congratulations to our newly promoted officers and thank you for your service. This is not how the faculty wanted to celebrate today with you. But to be honest, it's gone much better than I imagined it might. We hear from Zoom that others have had the same streaming problems we have faced, and we will post the recording of this event on YouTube this afternoon to share with all. This is the year of graduation for the first shared discovery curriculum class. So many staff and faculty have worked so hard over the last four years. A new curriculum is often a career defining, defining project for medical educators. We wanted to be in the room with you all to celebrate. Come back, walk, and be hooded another year with us in person. I wanna take a moment to thank the families of our graduates. Medical school and the profession of medicine involves a large amount of mental and emotional effort and a great deal of time. So to all of you who have lent us your sons and daughters, your wives and husbands, your significant others, your buddy, your BFF, your father, your mother, thank you from me and thank you from all of us. This has been a wonderful afternoon. And before the alma mater plays us out, I wanna thank, thank the faculty and staff of the Office of Student Affairs and Services, in particular, Dr. Wanda Lipscomb, Amy Fowler, Tamara Dillingham, Melissa Kekos, Joy Scott, and Dr. Judy Brady. From MSU IT Services, Jordan Stein, Kurt Bartling, Rob Sisson, and Stephen, sorry, Stephen Elmer. From the CHM Communications team, Amy Nyhouse and Jerry Kelly. I wanna thank all of the faculty and staff who have been with us this afternoon, and thank you for being a part of the College of Human Medicine. Have a great Mother's Day tomorrow. Please enjoy the alma mater, MSU Shadows, closes out our virtual graduation and takes us home, which is where we already are. Have a great afternoon. you 
we love thy shadows when twilight silence falls flushing deep and softly paling or ivy covered halls or beneath the pines will gather to give our faith so true sing our love for all the mother and thy praise is endless you when from these scenes we wander and twilight shadows fade faith are new sing our love for all the modern and thy praises in and